So let me solve uh, what may be uh, the simplest uh, important differential equation. You can solve this just by um, taking antiderivatives. So this is what you learn in a basic calculus class. Uh, we have the uh, earth down here. And we're considering the uh, motion of a mass falling uh, nearby the surface of the Earth. We put a coordinate system here, uh, which we'll call the direction pointing up, x. We put a mass at here, which is m. And then we write Newton's law for that mass. So that mass has a force acting on it. The force points downward direction. So the force gets a minus sign is equal to minus m times g, right? So g is this constant acceleration, which is 9.8 meters per second squared on the surface of the Earth. Okay, so we write down Newton's law to get our differential equation for the motion of the mass m. Newton's law is force equals mass times acceleration. This is a differential equation, so mass times acceleration. Acceleration is uh, related to velocity. Velocity is related to position. So the velocity is delta x over delta t, or dv dt in the calculus. And the acceleration is delta v over delta t, or dv dt in the calculus, which is d squared x dt squared. So the mass times the acceleration is m d squared x dt squared. And that's equal to the force which is minus m times g if the mass is under constant acceleration due to gravity. So the mass cancels in this equation, which is an important result by itself. And we end up with the differential equation d squared x dt squared equals minus g. And we want to solve this equation for x which is here a function of time, okay? This is a simple differential equation because the right-hand side is a constant. Uh, it's simple particularly because the right-hand side doesn't depend on x. And because of that uh, simplicity, we are able to solve this equation, this differential equation, just by taking antiderivatives, okay? So if we take the antiderivative of the left-hand side, we get the first derivative plus a constant, which we'll put on the right-hand side. If we take the antiderivative of minus g, we get minus g times t, and here we insert our integration constant a. Okay, And then we go ahead and we integrate the equation one more time. We take the antiderivative of dx dt, we get x plus a constant. And then we take the antiderivative of minus gt, we get minus one-half gt squared. We take the antiderivative of a, we get at, and then we have our extra constant b. Okay. So now we've integrated our differential equation, starting with an equation for d squared x dt squared. We found an equation for x. But the equation has two integration constants in it, a and b. So to solve a differential equation, right, this differential equation, it's not sufficient just to know the differential equation we also need conditions to determine the integration constants a and b. Those are called initial conditions. If we have a mass here that we are, that's falling under gravity, in order to know the position of this mass, 
at a time t, we needed to know what was the initial height above the ground, x of 0. And the person that was dropping the mass, did they throw it up, did they throw it down, or did they just release it? That corresponds to the initial velocity. So in order to solve this differential equation with initial conditions, we need to specify what those initial conditions are, which here is the initial position x at t equals 0 is x naught, and the velocity dx dt at t equals 0 is the initial velocity v naught. Okay. Let me squeeze it in here. So those are sufficient to determine A. So we have x of 0 equals x naught. And we substitute in our equation for x t equals 0. That tells us what d is. Now we have dx dt at t equals 0 equals v naught. And we substitute that into our equation for dx dt, t equals 0. That tells us what a is. Okay. So then we have our solution, well known in physics, x of t, right, x is a function of t, is equal to b, x naught, plus a times t, v naught times t, minus one half g t squared, right? And that's the um, typical equation uh, that one first learns in an uh, introductory physics class.